This is Richard Savage and we oh, are no, the no, GSMA like <laughs> Embedded Mobile House. We're at the Embedded Mobile House? Yes. Okay. Now, and this is Paul the Tom. whole idea of this is that everything is going to become connected to everything. The internet of everything. The next 50 billion mobile devices. So what we're showing in here is what we're going to do is connect up machines to machines, machines to people, and people back to machines. And we're doing this in combination with Ericsson, IBM, Vodafone. So it's just to show the ecosystem is getting really, really big now. Let's go inside and have a look. Let's do it. Hi guys, Sasha from NetworkNews.com. We are over here at the uh, Embedded House and we're looking at something pretty cool. And who are you, by the way? Oh, I'm Jessica Perot of Gill Industries and Qualcomm. Hi, Jessica. Hi. And you're showing uh, something new in terms of our... Wireless powering. Wireless powering. Yes. And that's what it's over here, right? Yes, this is called flexible coupling. Okay. We actually, you can put many devices at once and it can be anywhere on the mat. So look, we can actually start to fade. So I could also use it for my smartphone, and can we charge my smartphone with it? Yes, once you have the skins, Qualcomm is actually building the circuitry inside. So for this, it's an iPhone. Okay. This is the first generation of what we're thinking it'll be like. It's just a skin that you add on, less than three millimeters thick. Very cool. And this, we have a little table over there that okay. charges these phones right now. It's just resetting. Yeah, the table, someone bumped the table. Okay. They didn't install it correctly today. However, if we go over to our small little table. Let's do it. Can we also grab the light bulb? Yeah. There you go. Now look at this. All these phones are recharging right now. Isn't that cool? Screw wires. Look at this. Furniture in cars. We actually have a display over there for the cars that they're working on. Okay. So, Jessica, tell us a little bit about the availability of it. Availability. Right now, it's not available to the public. Obviously. At the end of the year, we'll have it to our customers. Hopefully, and they'll start. Okay. Take it away from there. And hopefully, they'll get okay. it in the phones and into tables. Absolutely fantastic. This was Jessica from Qualcomm and showing us a new way how you can charge your devices and can also bring wireless lighting into your living room or bathroom, kitchen or whatever. Such a fun news.com. Thanks for watching. This is, well, you know this one. It's a Galaxy S. But the cool thing about it is, look at this bag. It's just a kind of additional casing and what you can do with it. You're just putting it on the table and now it's recharging. So you have a wireless recharging just by adding a little additional case on the back. So this is what Samsung is showing off over here. They also have a kind of external recharger for this phone over here. And uh, in general we'll see a couple of new mobile devices, smart devices, maybe even tablets that are using this technology in the future. First of all, this is for the Galaxy. Yes, you know, it's not getting really bigger or so. And I really love the idea of not having to take care of my PSU, my recharger all the time. So that's for Network News to come over here at the embedded house of Qualcomm at MWC Barcelona. Thanks for watching.